you are knowing what you are wanting? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, life makes it clear, doesn't it? You enjoy the power of desire forming within you. Feels good to you to focus and decide. Are you becoming more confident that when a decision does evolve within you, a desire decision, that you have the ability to achieve it? Do you know that? So therefore, those desires feel good, don't they? Something hatches, it feels life-giving. And it really is life-giving, life-bringing, life-summoning. That's what desire does. Because you are the focuser of the energy that creates worlds. So life helps you to focus. And sometimes it feels to you that in that focusing process that you're getting beat up in an irresponsible or unnecessarily rough way. But when you think about it, out of every situation is born desire. And desire is focus which summons life. And when you're open to the life that you're summoning, then it is delicious. It's only when you're closed to the life that your focus is summoning that it doesn't feel so good. So that means under all conditions, as contrast helps you to focus, that in that pure focus, and by pure focus we mean purely focused upon your desire, not any of the yabats, not any of the, well, I want it, but I want it, but I can't see how I can have it. Or I want it, and I haven't been having it lately. Or I want it, and I hardly know anybody who has that. Or I want it, but they've got it, but I haven't had it, and I don't see how I'm going to get it like they've got it. Those yebats are contradictory energy that put us a vibrational restriction or contradiction into your point of attraction so that then your desire doesn't feel all that fresh and nice, does it? So then you say, I felt better before I knew I wanted that thing I cannot have. <laughs> and we say, but there is not any of that. There is never that thing I wanted that I cannot have. There may be that thing I want that I'm not fully focused upon. There may be that thing I want that I'm looking at in a way that is disallowing my ability to receive it. But at the basis of everything you want is something that you can have and here's the thing that we so want you to know not only is at the basis of everything you want something that you can have something you can have now 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 that's the hard part for you to accept we'd like to zap you but there's no law of zapping <laughs> and it's better that way there is no law of assertion. There's only the law of attraction. There is only you setting up a vibrational frequency and practicing it deliberately enough that what is coming to you is a vibrational match to who you are and what you want. That's what life is about all day, every day, isn't it? So we've offered a lot of different ways of talking about that. We've talked about cleaning up your vibration or offering a pure vibration. But really, the way it works best is if you approach it from the standpoint of how you want to feel. Because you can literally, in fact, it's the only way we know of that you can effectively achieve vibrational accord with anything that you want. You have to mold your thoughts into place by paying attention to the way each and every thought feels. Esther has announced to almost everyone around here, her that life is a minefield. <laughs> because at any moment... I might stumble upon a thought that is painful to me and to you because you're with me. But what she's coming to recognize is that it does not have to be that way. In other words, you have the power of focusing in ways that feel good to you under any and all conditions. And that is what deliberate creating, that's what molding the energy has always been about. It's what it will always be about. You create through the direction of your thought. So when you have the good fortune of being physically focused, and you do, and you have the good fortune of being physically focused and therefore surrounded by all kinds of details and data and variety and contrast, then you have the good fortune of having many, many opportunities to have desire focused within you. It's happening to you at many levels of your being all day, every day. 
And the key for you to live the joyful life that you've come to live is that when that focus occurs, to ride the wave of that focus, to ride the wave of that good feeling focus. Because what you are coming to recognize, words don't teach, have you noticed? But life experience does. So when we offer some words that match up to something that you've been living, then there's a really wonderful acknowledging. It's a moment of knowing when these aren't just words that we're offering, but life experience has shown you the validity of these words through the experience that you are living. So all day, every day, as you are focused here in this physical body, you are so much more than most any of you realize. You think that you are here independently to some degree and we would like to help you to understand that that's not even close to being accurate you are never independent of that which is source of that which is us of that which has gone before you but it's not just that which has gone before you it's that that's going through you here and now to the degree that you allow it so often as physical beings you have accomplished a distorted viewpoint of who you are and why you're here and you've for the most part missed the most important point which is you are here as joyful creators you are here as extensions of source energy to continue the extension of source energy you didn't come here to clean up messes or to fix things that are broken or to reconcile past wrongs so that you can find some worthy place and then re-emerge into non-physical to get the mark on the chart that said you did good finally so now you get to go to the happy room <laughs> you are extensions of source energy which means source is you and you are source and source is flowing to you now to talk about what that source is is a little bit difficult for you to understand because you are so accustomed to seeing yourselves as the individuals that you know but this source energy is consciousness oh yeah Abraham blah 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 consciousness we are so sick of hearing about consciousness make it tangible and we say we are making it tangible you are the tangible version of the consciousness that is us but you are thinking you are the tangible version of the consciousness that is source you're the tangible version the tangible seeing hearing smelling tasting touching feeling you are the tangible version you are the leading edge version of the evolution of that which is source and when you accept that then you understand why you revel in the new idea while you thrill at the new sound of the new song while you thrill at the new idea that is written on the pages of a book maybe even by you why you thrill at the clever thing that this little child said that you are sure has never been said in that way unique into all of the universe just now because of the combination of circumstances and events that just happened there it was creation at its very best right through that pure little being no resistance at all just source flowing purely you see that's who you are that's who we are that's what we've all come to do and dance together so when you begin to recognize that you are the flower of source, but you are also the new chooser of that which source flows to, that makes your part more important than you have ever been willing to make it. But it puts no burden of responsibility on you because we're not standing around saying, hope they come up with something good today. <laughs> There's nothing like that because you can't help it. Every conversation is uniquely causing the achievement of new thought and motion forward. The evolution of all species at all levels of beingness is happening all day, every day. But most humans are not consciously aware of the process or of the important part that you play in the process. So you're not reveling in what you add to all that is. So many people stand around waiting for somebody else to do something great so that they can sit in the audience and cheer it or criticize it. It sort of goes both ways. <laughs> when what you're really here for is for the reveling of all that is as it joyously flows through you in your every single moment, every single important moment of every single conscious moment. And of course you can't cease that consciousness can you no matter what you can't so you are always that consciousness and sometimes like before you were born you were flowing that consciousness from the non-physical point of view 
you come into this physical body and it's flowing from both perspectives in other words you get to choose what you think about you get to choose the thoughts you think the words you say the things you do you get to think in every moment about how you're focusing and in every moment as you brilliant you is focusing there is something that is going on that we're calling a vibrational well, maybe we should find a word for it since we say we're calling it we're calling it a vibrational Mm, it's a vibrational mm, it's a vibrational mm, it's a vibrational mm. collaboration isn't quite the right word because sometimes you don't collaborate so good it's a vibrational comparison isn't the quite the right word because nobody's taking score of how you're vibrating it's a vibrational togetherness not exactly the right word because sometimes you're not always together with it it's a vibrational happening mm -hmm. that's it it's a vibrational happening it's a vibrational you might call it coincidence because it is an incident that is coincidence in <laughs> it's a vibrational happening where the vibration of your being is whatever it is based upon whatever you've been thinking about you've been loving something you've been hating something you've been applauding something you've been criticizing something you're doing something with your vibration and as you're doing it through your conscious awareness in your human form the source within you who is right there with you in that moment sharing that moment with you is also having a vibrational happening in that moment and as you happen and source happens same thing as saying you happen and your inner being happens same thing as saying you happen and all who have known you from their physical and non-physical format because there are a host of entities who are with you all day every day you think you're smart but you're not that smart you think those ideas are solely yours <laughs> they're not <laughs> we are coincidenting <laughs> we are collaborating we are co-creating together and the way you feel is your indication of how well you are allowing the meeting to go because sometimes well first we want to convince you that the meeting of these minds the meeting of this non-physical energy with you is the most important meeting that you ever are having and you're having it all day every day but if we were standing in your physical shoes Jerry said to Esther the other day and laughed really hard when he said it which made Esther laugh really hard when she heard it if I were standing in my physical shoes <laughs> it's a good moment <laughs> so as this non-physical energy is pouring to you and through you all day every day you have the opportunity in this moment by paying attention to the emotions within you of choosing thoughts and you've got to do it in the moment while you're feeling the emotion of choosing thoughts that are more harmonic with the way source is looking at this moment and the thing that have you been listening to us for a while some of you have been hanging around for so long you're just sick 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 of us <laughs> you create your own reality <laughs> but when you uh, we, we want to help you to feel this coming to a whole new place today because we want you to feel how important your new vantage point is in your willingness to explore this new contrasting combination because as the new desire occurs to you we understand fully what has occurred and we go right there in its fullness so we take the expansion in the moment that you carve it out and if you would do that you would be having more fun in your physical shoes but often what happens is as you explore the contrast and you come to the new conclusion often a very conscious conclusion of what you want of what you prefer of what would be better of what you would like to happen of what you want to happen as you come to that conclusion of what you want to happen often you are so wrapped up in where you stand in relationship to that that where you stand in the absence of the happening is so rampant and dominant within you that you hold yourself in vibrational discord to the place that you just led us to be 
and we just have to lay it out here bluntly for you you're not ever gonna feel good unless you come to the place that you led us to be